Hello friends, today we make motion detector project using Arduino and PIR motion sensor. Now we start the project first we open Tinkercad and now search the component Arduino you will know. Then drag on drop here. Again we search PIR, PIR motion sensor, drag and drop here. Now we search breadboard, take one breadboard. And now search the LED. Take two LED for the indicator. Click on the LED and you can change the color of the LED. Now we take two resistor. Resistor you can connect on the cathode also and anode also. I have connected in the cathode. You can put the resistor to the one pin of cathode and second pin to the digital of the Arduino. Digital pin of Arduino. You can see I have connected in the cathode pin. Now change the value of resistor 330 ohm. You can connect the resistor in the cathode cathode also. In this project, I am connecting in the anode terminal. I put the here and value will 330 ohm. Now we in the green LED I have connected to the cathode, in the red LED I have connected to the anode. Again we search buzzer, this is the piezo buzzer, now connect the LED, first terminal connect to the digital pin of the Arduino, digital I have using 12 pin of the digital for the red LED and red LED, red LED and cathode pin connect to the ground. I have connected the ground and second LED of the cathode pin which are connected to the resistor, second terminal of the resistor connect to the ground and anode pin connect to the any digital pin I have connected in the 11 pin of the Arduino, 11 pin of the Arduino. Now we connect the buzzer, in the buzzer there is two terminal, one is negative, negative connect to the G and D of the Arduino, G and D of the Arduino, and second terminal connect to the any digital pin. Now we connect the PIR motion sensor. In the PIR motion sensor, there is three pin, signal pin and power pin and last one is ground pin. Now rotate the PIR motion, click on the click on the PIR motion and then click here. Rotate option. Signal pin connect to the any digital pin of the Arduino. I have connected. You have connected any digital pin I have connected in the second pin of the Arduino. Now change the color. Power pin connect to the 5 volt of the Arduino. This is 5 volt. Red. And last pin is the ground pin connect to the negative of the Arduino. I have connected to the negative of the Arduino. Now we have to make a code. Click on the code section and delete this code. First we click on the variable and make a variable, create variable and PIR. You cannot give the space here. You can use underscore PIR sensor and click OK. You can see there is three block is generated. Use this set PIR sensor. In this block we have to connect for the PIR sensor connect to the digital pin. Take the digital pin of the block. You have to put and digital PIR sensor connect to the second pin. You have to put second and go to the output block and take print to serial monitor. In the hello world, you have to put variable block PIR. Now start and you can see the value PIR sensor value is giving or not. Click on the serial monitor and click on the PIR motion. This is the obstacle. If the obstacle is moved, then you can see value is 1. Now we have to make the condition, click on the math section, 
click on the control section and use if and else block and give the condition go to the map section and use this block and comparing to the PIR sensor value so then click on the variable and use this variable block if the sensor value is 1 then buzzer and green LED is on go to the output block and use this two block and one block for the buzzer now we connect buzzer is connected to the 7 pin put the 7 and green LED is connected to the 11 pin 11 pin put the 11 and red LED is connected to the 12 pin you can put the 12 here and this is a buzzer play speaker on pin 7 and you, you can put the value 0 you can put the value 0 0.1 0 0.1 and also change the value here 50 and then right click here and put it here and delete this block for the buzzer take this block and put the value of 7 and put the value here low Green LED is connect to the 11 pin. If condition is follow, then 11 pin is high and 12 pin is low. If condition is not follow, then 12 pin is high and 11 pin is connect to the green. Then green LED is off. Now start and click on the serial monitor. You can see value is going to zero. If the obstacle is rotate your motion, you can. On. If the there is no motion in the PIR sensor, then red LED is on. You can again see the output if the body is detected. You can use this block. And also, if you want to make a text code, click on the block and click on the block plus text. You can use this text code in the Arduino ID and upload to the hardware in the Arduino. Again, you can see the output. Now start simulate. You can see. Text code also given in the description. You can download the text code. If you have any problem, you can comment also. Thank you all friends.